Hi, this is Chen Nguyen from Finale Inventory. In this session, I'm going to show you how to include stock levels when you're configuring Finale to push back stock levels back to your shopping carts and marketplaces. And this is, scenario is very common for some of our customers if um, they're drop shipping, or two, is they sec secure product really quickly from local vendors. So let me show you how I do that. So let me go to my products. And if I click on, for example, uh, the demo I've been using is my polo shirts. So here, you know, the first thing we need to do is we have to uh, find have supplier. And here, if it says supplier one quantity, what you can do is you can import. Uh, if you can get a feed from your supplier, you can imp, you know a daily import uh, via an Excel file, or even a more automated fashion, if you can. Um, get a fee from your secure fee from supplier, you can leverage our, our APIs to basically update this feed. So this quantity here is basically what is used to also take account for your supplier quantity. For example, so here um, we go back, we have uh, 75 available for sale, which normally we would push back to your, the big your the big commerce store uh, that we had in our, in our demo. But if I put, for example, you know, let's say the um, ABC t-shirts can you know, gave you a feed said we have a thousand available. So if I go down here, basically it says right here we have a thousand seventy five available because we're taking account the supplier of one quantity and also the available number. So let's make the other ch change for the other one also. Um, and let's put it, let's say it's gonna be a thousand also. To make it easy for the math. You know this is from EKS and they can supply a thousand. Let's let's just. Let's actually, let's just change it. Let's say they can supply 500, and you have another um, supplier who can supply also 500. Uh, so basically, it's a thousand. So if I add this, you know, we should have a thousand ninety. Okay. So the one thing we want to make sure we we have configured correctly, if um, if we go back to our edit task configuration, the one thing we want to make sure of is that the include supplier quantities is set to all suppliers. Okay, and before we run it, let's do one, do one more thing as a, as a best practice. If you want to see exactly what Finale is going to push back to your big commerce store, what, you, what we do is we hit stock each store and click on big commerce. So this will tell you exactly what Finale is pushing back to this, um, your store. And it should be, you know, each one should have over a thousand. So here we go, 1,075 and 1,090 to include the supplier quantity. So lastly, let's just do a manual test and run tasks now. Here we go. It's updating it. Again, if we go to view status log, it should show you exactly what we're doing. And we pushed up 1,075 for the blue polo shirts and 1,090 for the silver polo shirts. Lastly, we, can, we should be able to see those changes. So let me refresh the screen to update the uh, So if I go back to options and click on SKUs, there we go, 1,090, 1,075. So this, that's how you basically set, use your supplier quantity, especially if you drop ship. And it's very valuable if you can get an automated feed and leverage our API. So that way, you know, as they're changing quantities, you're constantly feeding new supplier quantities into Finale.